Right guys, I've built a very tiny DMX controller in uh, Max MSP. This is Max MSP 6 and I recently bought this Entech DMX USB Pro uh, which was about 130 euros which is quite a bargain if you can see what you can do with it. So basically what I did was make some sliders and gave them a nice ramp value, in this case of one second. And then uh, connect all those sliders to the preset object and then make sure I could use my arrows, my arrow keys, which is 29 and 28 in this case, to increase and decrease the counter so I can uh, scroll through my presets. I have just a couple presets right now. Uh, I also have a nice object here uh, made, it's uh, called Swatch, it's basically a swatch and then you can directly send, uh, it's still inactive, I can directly send um, to all the, I, I just installed it so it would just send to all the, uh, it, will, it will send RGB channels to all the uh, DMX channels, in this case six of them, three RGBs from the left one and three RGBs from the right one. These are just really simple uh, PAR56 RGB LED uh, lamps, 25 euros each. Um, so this works qu pretty quickly actually, it's uh, quite responsive. Total delay I think is, well, somewhere near, I don't know, a couple milliseconds. Quite, quite workable actually. Um, so that's just for kicks and for fun, and then I um, have uh, uh, well all these line objects, of course, and then they go into this uh, uh, patcher called uh, 2DMX, and then left insert this channel, right in in the insert this value, and that basically just uh, makes a message uh, to a pack object, and then well make well put it into the uh, this the help file basically I just copied the help file everyone should do that once in a while because it's really practical and then it goes to the DMX USB Pro uh, uh, external yeah so basically um, when I go back a little bit then you can see the screen a little bit and the reaction of the lights um, basically when I uh, press my uh, arrow to the right then it should uh, the counter should decrease or increase in this case uh, by one you can see that right here if I press it then it will go to one and all the sliders will go to that uh, value and because it has line objects connected to it they will simply uh, fade it nicely into the next color so this is basically preset one Preset 2, preset 3, 4, and I also have a blackout, which is 5. So, you know, it works quite alright. And, you know, it's really easy to save. You just um, say what value you want to each slider. Of course, in 255 modes. I can also make a skill object to make it in percentages. And then, uh, well, you know, save it and go your show basically. And there are ends endless possibilities with this because you can link them to MIDI uh, uh, sends from your for instance digital mixing desk for sound and so if you start a new scene you can also uh, link it to the appropriate appropriate uh, light preset. So I think uh, I'll be posting some more videos soon on this but I really like this stuff so I thought I would share it with you guys. Please comment if you like anything else or have questions, whatever. This is really basic stuff, and just a small, well, tutorial is a big word, but, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, bye for now, laters.